OK, I'm going to demonstrate to you a device which I've built in this workshop. It's called an electronic electroscope and it works by static electricity. It works on the principle of um, you know, the way static activates um, and discharges, you know, similar to ghost activity. Um, with static electricity, you, you've got what's called a positive charge or a negative charge. Uh, I've yet to decide what ghosts are, whether they're negative or positive. But at the end of the day, um, they do actually emit uh, static electricity. And it's normally attributed to a shiver or cold sensation. Uh, people who have actually witnessed ghosts claim to um, uh, feel like, like a static uh, electric shock. So this device was um, uh, suggested to me by an EVP. Uh, the voice actually said electroscope. So I've built this electroscope and hopefully it's going to be a lot better than the standard EMF meter which is, stands for electromotive force. Um, the electroscope which I've got here has took me weeks to build. Um, it, it consists of an analog uh, signal strength meter which is the device here. Um, on top you've got an LCD panel which is displaying um, the, the, the figures in um, um, digital, digital um, numerals. Now the thing is I've got it connected to the mains because um, it does drain the battery. Uh, it basically works from uh, two PP3 power packs which are connected in series which combined produce a voltage of around 18 volts. So without further ado, I'm going to switch it on by the power button and you can see here the LCD. I'm just going to zoom into it. It's registering 1.74. The meter appears to be about one third along. This switch here will actually switch off the um, LCD meter. Um, and hence save power, but the fact it's connected to the mains it's not going to have any detrimental effect on uh, uh, battery costs. So, um, what I'm going to do is demonstrate this device for you. You'll have to, excuse me, I've got what's called a high definition camera here. Uh, it's working on uh, 1080 um, HDM um, high definition uh, um, um, resolution. So it, it is a bit of a um, new thing for me. Now the thing is, I'm trying to hold this camera with one hand. I'm going to demonstrate what will happen if I charge this comb up. You can see by the meter that there is a deflection. By touching it, I'm either inducing a positive or negative charge. At the moment, this has got a positive charge. It's indicating 3.13. Uh, and you can see here you've got a full deflection on the meter. So, if I am to charge this comb up and walk past the um, device, I'm just going to hold the comb in the other hand. So, I'm right at the other end of the workshop. I'm now walking towards the meter, as you can see. So, as we are zooming, on to it, zooming into it, uh, you can see there is actually a deflection when I put the comb nearby. Um, now if you can imagine this being your ghost, and the ghost walking past, you can see it's affecting the meter. I find this very, very, very interesting because it works every single time. Now, if I walk past, it's actually altering because I've got the statically uh, charged comb in my hand. Now, it, it's 2.38. Now, as I'm walking past now again, you see that it's gone to, it's hovering. It's hovering to 2.36. Now I'm just walking past again. See that? 
it's starting to move. I'll just move it a bit further back so you can actually see the distance where I am. Um, just rubbed it on my hair. 2.32, 2.32, 2.31, moving away. Now moving a bit nearer. Yeah, 2.30. 2.29 2.29 2 2.28 okay I'm leaving the comb here I'm now walking past again it's still having an effect on the meter I mean you see that 2.27 2.26 let me just show that again that's 2.27 see that 2.25 now moving away I'm keeping still it's holding at 2.25 well 2.24 2.25 it's more or less steady at that reading if I walk past I don't seem to want to do it now I've probably lost my electricity what a shame. Let me just pick up the cone. There. You see that? 2 point... What is that? Uh, 2.19 blah blah blah. I'm about 2 feet away. I'm 2 feet away. 2.2. I'm actually moving away now. Yeah. See that? It just flickered a bit. No, you can't see it because I've not got the camera zoomed in properly. Okay, here we go. If I move, put the comb down. If I was to touch it, we've got a totally different uh, reading. That could be a ghost. At 3.1, 3.07, with my hand being near the aerial. Look at that. 2.96. I touched it then. Going to extend the aerial a bit. That's better. Okay, it's 2.64. When I touched it, it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Right. You can see the meter deflecting, can't you? This is my ghost walking backwards and forwards. Look at the activity here. Okay, we're about, what? Less than a foot away. But we're getting some indication on, on, on the meter that there's something moving about. Now, if you were to be absolutely um, particular, you could say that it's 2.32 at the moment, 2.31, I'm walking past it, it's gone to 2.30, I mean that could indicate 2.29, and hope, you know, I see look, it went up, it went down, and I'm just walking past it, 2. Point, you see, look, look, something's happening, it's going, yeah, 2.26, you see, look, I've just gone past it, now if I move a bit nearer, See that? That altered. I'm probably about, I, I would say that the sensitivity, if you get it right, would be about three feet away. And it would pick up a person walking past. 
it can be anybody, not just me, it can be anybody walking past and it would detect it. Now if you were to increase the sensitivity of that, you would definitely get some indication that the person passing by is emitting some sort of force energy.